Running a quick test, these newer batteries. So we want to test this and verify how close to the 200 amps it is. Now that we got the battery set up, we can go ahead and start the testing. The battery says charge voltage should be 14.4. The charge current and the standard charge, charge current 70 amps max, 20 amps max. We're going to be at 20 amps. We're continuous peak discharge, 100 amps and 30 amps. I'm going to do 25 amps and we're going to test how close to 200 amps we can get from these batteries. Going back to it, we're gonna change that voltage. We're gonna make that 14.4. That's where it's gonna stop. Uh, the cutoff current, we're going to, I just wanna get it as close. Uh, the record conditions, I'm going to record. This is gonna take a lot longer, so I'm not gonna do 10 minutes. I'm gonna do every 30 minutes. And then I'm going to, it's gonna rest at first, it's gonna charge. 25 amps i'm gonna change that to 20 i don't want to charge too fast um, charging is very volatile so anytime you can charge at a lesser rate that's the better way so i'm going to limit that to 20 it's going to be overnight so it's fine i don't recommend you guys doing this overnight an hour should be fine at 25 amps we should be in, in, in good shape they should definitely be done in eight hours and the cutoff voltage i'm gonna work backwards 14.6 um, is the max right like we know what our max is so uh, and we also know our chemistry. Our chemistry is lithium iron phosphate. Um, it's L-I-F-E-P-O-4. So lithium, L-I, iron, F-E, P-O-4, phosphate, uh, zero four phosphate. So we can work backwards. Here's how we work backwards. I can her out. So 14.6 is the max charge. Lithium iron phosphate batteries, 3.65 is the standard max across all of them. So if we take this and divide this number by 3.65, we will get a solid four. This is perfect. This means there's four cells in parallel inside. So the cutoff voltage for most lithium iron phosphate is two volts. So if you multiply the four battery cells you have in parallel times two, you'll get a cutoff voltage of eight. So in here, we can go in and we will put the cutoff voltage eight. And then here, I'm going to charge the battery up 25 amps to, for five hours. So essentially what I'm doing is I am going to take a 200 amp hour battery and I'm going to put 25 amps in for five hours. 125, actually this one said start at 50% capacity. So we're going to take it down. We can either do it either way. I can go here and change this to 20 or I can go here and change this to four. Doesn't matter. All I'm trying to do is get that 100 amps because that will get me at 50% capacity. For charge purposes, I want to keep it consistent. This was 20, so I'm going to make this 20. It's going to take all day, but it'll be ready to ship out tomorrow once I run this by night. And that's it. I'm going to go here, I'm going to save. Now it has my Tyco Run 12 200 amp save. So I'll run this test. On both batteries, you see I have uh, one in channel one and one in channel three. One in channel one, one. One in channel three. Nothing in two and four. You can see one and three. I'm going to highlight both of these and start this test. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start. I got one and three highlighted. I got my program, I triple checked it, signed off on it, put my information here, and I got the recordings down. It's gonna be 20 minutes for each step. So I'm gonna go here and start. I'm actually gonna start at step two, just because I don't, you know, it's a rest point for a minute. I don't wanna sit here for a minute and make sure this thing works. I always tell people to do this when I first run testing, when I'm teaching this, because you always wanna check to make sure everything is right. So a minute to kind of reobserve things, but. I'm in good shape here. I'm gonna go ahead and start. So we hit start. It says barcodes. I don't have that set up. So I'm gonna just hit okay. And you're gonna see it go right to it. It goes right to green. Green is for charging. So the batteries are successfully charging. You got 13 volts, 20 amps, 13 volts, uh, 20 amps about, it fluctuates. Um, so we're gonna let this run overnight and tomorrow we're gonna see the results. All right, so now that everything is stopped, we can check out the results. You can see here um, the total wattage, uh, amperage. I'll open it up. You go to view data. 
So as we view the data, you can kind of see the results here. This is the discharge capacity. This is the charge capacity, how much you put into the battery, how much we discharge out the battery. This one's overperforming by a lot, uh, 227 amps. Um, the batteries are only 200 amps. So this is um, uh, a little bit larger than I would expect, but here's the results <coughs> we can verify here. Um, so they, they have two ways you can do it. You can look at the data points. Um, so here's all of the constant current, constant voltage. So you can see all of the data points for constant current, constant voltage. Um, you can see like how many amps you put in. Remember I charged at 20 amps. So you can see all these points around 20 amps. Um, and then it, you know, drops down to four, down to one. That's when it goes into constant voltage mode. It's trying to make sure that the voltage is maintained at uh, the, the, the full charge, which is 14.4. And then here you slide back up. Uh, this was the rust period. Then this is the constant current discharge. So constant current discharge, um, each one was 25 amps. You see the negative number showing that we drain 25 amps out of this uh, system. You can see the voltage and relative of what the current is. So 2513, that goes all the way down to 2512 and then 2510. Remember we had a cutoff voltage around eight. So that's probably when the BMS caught it and said, hey, we're done here. Um, and then of course I went after and charged it back up to 50%. Uh, so you can kind of see the curves here. Voltage is red, capacity is uh, this lighter blue here. Um, our current is uh, like a darker blue. So you can kind of see that we were charging at positive 20. And then once we do like this discharge curve, you can see at that same point that it's a negative 20. So here and here, um, if you wanted to export this out to a quick little PDF file, we can do that. So I send you know, the PDF files with my customers all the time to kind of let them see how this looks. So once you go to export, you'll get a PDF file. The PDF file looks like this. We saved it to one, two, one. Um, and you can see all the different steps. So this is constant current, constant current to constant voltage. We did that for a duration of time, the record here. Then it goes down to rest. You can see here is like where the rest spot is. And then we went to constant current discharge in this part. These are all constant current discharges. Uh, kind of hard to see from this angle. I'll, I'll zoom in a bit so you can kind of get an idea. Um, most of it is just um, your recording layers. And then, you know, what the capacity is, your current, your voltage and your, your wattage is over here. Mostly for the testing purposes, the easiest way to kind of look at this is we started off charging it up with constant current. Then when it went to it, we went to constant voltage. Here's the data showing that we charged it. Here's the voltage and relative of the current that was being inputted. And then you can see the rest points here. And then you can see the constant current discharge at negative 25 amps. So this is, again, you get your results. Uh, your results were on your main screen. The results were here. So um, the total discharge capacity was 227 amps and the total charge capacity was 251 amps. So these batteries are really overperforming. Um, you know, my job here at Rechargeable Power Energy is to test the batteries, to verify to the customer what they're showing, and also maintain the batteries. Um, you know, we need to charge these batteries up um, every six months when they're not being used to make sure that they maintain their capacity. So this video is to help show that this is uh, the testing results of the Tyco Run 200 amp hour batteries here at Rechargeable Power Energy. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you guys want any other batteries that we have on our website tested. I love testing the batteries. So if there's any other batteries um, in the comments, just let me know and I'll, I'll start testing those batteries so you can see the differences and contrast of those different battery types. Thank you.